Mail. I love the comments and suggestions and everything I'm getting from you guys. You make the show. You really do. I hear some of you more experienced guys and I, I want to make the videos for you guys too, but, 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 but I'm hearing so much from so many new guys that tell me that they love what I do because it doesn't go over their heads. I'm trying to find that balance. Chameleon Antennas has sent me their brand new uh, Cha P Loop. It's another magnetic loop. I'm going to do a review of it today. I'm going to do a full review as full as I can do. Now remember, I'm not an expert. I'm just another guy sitting here in my shack that plays with ham radio stuff. So please, if you're expecting Engineer Bob to bring you a video, just do yourself a favor right now and flip past this. Go do, go watch something else. But if you want to watch something that's a little bit entertaining and will give you some information about this antenna, stick around. Yeehaw! I'm going to do another shootout video. You know, this time I'm doing three magnetic loops. We're going to put together the Alex loop, the new Chameleon Cha P loop, and a brand new redesign of the Alpha Antennas loop. All right, let's put it right out front. I am no expert in magnetic loop theory, but I use them quite a bit when I'm traveling. I mean, this Alex loop has gone with me halfway around the world on dive trips, and I've made quite a few contacts with it. So imagine my giddiness when the guys over at Alpha Antenna and Chameleon Antenna asked me to review their magnetic loops. So before we start the shootout, I'm gonna review each one of these antennas and I'll let you know what I think of them. This week, we're starting out with the Chameleon Cha P Loop. When I first opened this one up, I was immediately struck by the quality of the design this telescoping selfie stick uh, was very, very good quality for a selfie stick and an ingenious design for the, uh, for the base. The tuning unit is large for a very ultra portable antenna, but the, uh, the tuning on it is just fantastic. This knob is smooth. It is really like butter the bottom of the grip or the bottom of the grip has a nice uh, hand grip and a threaded adapter for a tripod the radiator is a rigid metal type obviously machine bent and perfectly symmetrical i like the way that they use that threaded nut on the top of the selfie stick uh, to attach the radiator so you can have it adjusted and tight so because you guys are my friends, I decided to bust this thing open and void my warranty. And inside, I was really surprised. Everything is double crimped. The uh, reduction gear on this tuning knob is really nice. You could see that 6 to 1 reduction in there. Uh, all the nuts are nicely done. The uh, crimps and solders are perfect inside, and they used quality, quality LMR 400 for the, uh, for the main line. The feed line actually has its own ballon, and I've never seen this before in a uh, magnetic loop. This is the only design I've seen that has that ballon. All right, this bag... Nice, nice, nice. Big roomy pockets. It's uh, soft and uh, distressed OD material. Big enough to put your entire operation in if you're just packing it in for a day. The manual that comes with the Cha P Loop is very nicely done. It has some magnetic loop theory and all the instructions to get you up and operating really quick. 
Now, through the magic of YouTube, we can go to a nice desolate mountaintop and adjust this thing for SWR. Here is the antenna pattern that this is putting out. And for you brain surgeons in the audience, here's the, uh, the circuitry and how it all sets up the big numbers that you like. Anyway, here is my setup that I'm going to use to test this thing. I'm using my KX3. We've got a baseline here of SWR. And we tune this. By the way, this is beautiful California weather. I'm sitting out here with the Chameleon P-Loop. Gonna do some testing. And you can see, if I stick my hand in the near field here, you can hear the you can hear that picking up. So as you could hear, as I rotate it, so it kind of likes that north south. That's just pretty much due north out there. When you're adjusting the magnetic loop on your radio, you want to set it for maximum noise. When you tune this and the noise and the noise level picks up, that's when you're tuned or you're you're fairly tuned. You can hear that how it goes down when I turn this. Not a whole lot either. So that's about tuned. I really like is the tuning knob here is at the bottom of the of the tuning box of the transformer box. It's not at the top because you see what happens when I come in here and I put my hand inside. It picks up, it changes the noise. So if you're tuning here from the top you're getting into the near field of your of your antenna. I'm in the 20 meter band. I'm going to go hunt for some signals here. And it's just getting to about gray line here on the west coast. Six to one gear reduction on this is very, very nice because I've got to do a lot of tuning to get it to move. Which means once you get it in the ballpark, it's not this pinprick little minute movements to get it to, to center up and to get it to the fullest, highest uh, tuning and lowest SW, SWR. Huge, huge difference there. So now we back out. We've got a couple of competing signals. I'm going to rotate this. I really, I really don't hear a lot of difference between the polarization east or west, the rotation. It's really pretty much right in there. Way. So let's get back to the antenna. This antenna is 40 meters through 10 meters, 25 watts maximum input. Now, this one has by far the biggest transformer box, but when you opened it up, when you opened this box up, you noticed that, that, that the, those tuning rakes all that stuff inside that makes it tune up for whatever frequency you're on it's got that big giant six to one gear reduction so you're you're making big adjustments on the knob to get very little adjustment on the box that is actually a huge benefit you're making these little fractions of a movement on a tuning knob and you're you pass by the sweet spot 
on the radio. So anyway, this pole, this one piece pole, this was actually the first time I had seen that because I'm very, very used to the Alex loop and I'm, I'm kind of used to putting those pieces of pipe together. This was really a pleasure because it's all in one piece. It expands really quickly and there's nothing to get lost there. But this is very, very convenient. It folds up very quickly. It deploys in a matter of two or three minutes. To be perfectly honest, I stole the little stand that came with the Alpha antenna because this does not come with any kind of a stand like the Alex Loop. This comes as a handheld unit. Let's face it. Who is going, who in their right mind is going to hand hold this antenna for hours on end? I sure as hell ain't. CQ, CQ, Kilo 6, Uniform Delta Alpha, QRP, testing QRP, testing the Chameleon uh, P loop. CQ, CQ, this is Kilo 6, Uniform Delta Alpha, calling CQ, QRP. CQ, CQ, this is Kilo 6, Uniform Delta Alpha calling CQ, CQ, QRP, 40 meters. Alpha calling CQ, 40 meters, QRP. CQ, 40 meters, QRP, and listening. So, I don't know how that happened. I will I sit here and wait. 10, but nevertheless, uh, he's out there in California. He was uh, 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 north of uh, San Francisco somewhere. K6 UDA, QRP. K6 UDA, K6 UDA, QRP. You know what? I tried to make a contact. Couldn't make a contact. Nobody's answering me. I don't know. Maybe they just don't like me. Maybe they didn't hear me. I don't know. The antenna is working. I do like the design. I'm concerned the box is going to be just a little bit with one piece that it's gonna be a little bit bulky in the suitcase. That's my biggest concern right now. But tuning on the bottom, the big six to one reduction gear, the way that it fits together, the fit and finish, the fact that it's got a nice handle at the bottom if I wanna hand hold it. Uh, it comes with a threaded adapter, comes with that really nice bag it's an all-around good system. Unfortunately, I did try to make a contact. I just couldn't make a contact tonight. I really did try for you guys. You know what? If you don't like it, fucking leave. I don't know. So that's it for the Cha P for now. That antenna is going to be back. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button down below. If you're watching on QRZ or Facebook or somewhere else, click the title. It's right up here in the video, and that'll take you into uh, that'll take you right into YouTube. You can hit the thumbs up. You could subscribe because I am still giving away that KX2, but we don't need to talk about that. But I do want to say that you know the ham community generally helps each other out. And right now, there's 3,600 guys that are trying to get a KX2. And they need just about 1,500 more to make that thing happen. Oh yeah, the shirts are still available. Go to indiegogo.com, order your shirt, and help me make ham radio great again. That's it. That's all I've got today. Thanks for joining. We'll see you next time. I won't be here next week. I'm going to Sand Mountain to take the Razor out and go uh, four-wheeling. So I won't be here next week, but the week after that, I will be back. I am taking the KX3 with me to Sand Mountain, and maybe we can have a QSO. All right, guys. That's it for me this week. I'll see you in two weeks. I'm Bob, K6UDA, and I'm out of here. 7-3.
Remote system linked. 